Hi everyone and welcome to Success Sunday. I'm really excited to be here with you. I'm here with the wonderful Stevie Jacobs. Uh, hi Stevie, how you been? I'm good, thanks. Really mate. good, yeah, really good, thank you. Uh, welcome onto the show. Uh, this is uh, really exciting. And what we're gonna be talking about in the show with Stevie is how from just one property deal, Stevie has just made 50,000 pound profit. But before we get into that, uh, Stevie, would you like to just, you know, who you are, what's your company name, why are you a property investor? So my name's Steve Jacob. Um, I'm co-founder of a company called Fabric Property Group. Uh, the Fabric Property Group is a group of companies that helps investors to find property, construct property, and then manage property. So Brilliant. we give like a one-stop shop to an investor. So if you've got money effectively, you come to us and we can help you. And the reason I'm in property really was for the financial freedom that it can create. Uh, well, that's why I first got into property. I was never meant to start a property group that helped investors. That was never the plan. Okay. Um, but that just sort of developed over time, and nice. you know I love the company now. So wow. So you've got a real passion for property. Oh, 100 percent. I re I really love the way that you said investors give you money. What What do you mean by that? So for our viewers tuning in right now that are potentially new to property, they've never even done property, maybe they've not got any money to do property. What do you mean investors give you money? Explain that. Well, basically, you know, uh, a lot of my investors are armchair investors. They're quite laid back and just want a return on their cash. So they come to me as a professional to help them. So I'll go out to market, find them a property, I'll package it up nicely for them so they can see what they're getting for their money and how it's going to affect them and you know how they're going to get cash flow from it. If they decide yes, they'll buy it off me. I'll receive a fee for that, which nice. anybody can do. You don't need any money to do that. You can just get a sourcing fee. Then I'll pass it through to my construction arm where I get another fee, but I don't manage the construction. I've got an experienced construction guy in there that I pay him a salary, nice. but the fees I get more than cover his salary and the company makes a bit of profit. So it's a very low cost company because it's just a project manager. Um, and uh, then there's the management company. That's a little bit harder to build up. You need to get quite a lot of units in there to make it work. But we're at about 500 residential units now and we've got about 100 serviced accommodation units climbing to 250. Them companies are gonna be worth a few million quid in equity and they're gonna to start to really cough cash flow. And um, them companies have subsidiary companies, which I don't really talk about, like I own a laundry business to do the linen for the service accommodation. That company makes mm, quite a lot of money. Mm. But, um, you know, in answer to your question really, it didn't start like that. It just started as a sourcing company yeah, and then the yeah. investor needed a builder. Yeah. So I started that company. And and I, th I think that's the wonderful thing about property. You know, you might start out as a property sourcer. You might start out doing rent to rent or doing some flips. But what happens relatively quickly is you really make some great connections in property. And then all of a sudden, what you have is multiple streams of property income. And then ultimately, you can create multiple businesses working with different JV partners and different arms to your business. You know, you've experienced tremendous growth, you know, working with Assets for Life and us helping you and guiding you. Um, what would you say has been like a contributing factor as to why you've grown so much over these last six, seven months? Well, 100% education. Education helps for a number of different reasons. So no matter what event I go to, I'll always pick something up. I've picked up a lot from Assets for Life. My favorite course I've ever done, genuinely ever done, is the speaker course. I was really nervous and you brought the best out of me, no doubt. Brilliant. You also pick up connections and a good network. I've rang you a few times, Liam, and said, I'm stuck, have you got a solicitor? Or have you got, uh, you know, a, Liam's there as a problem solver as well because he's an experienced investor himself. So, you know, in the last six to seven months, I've got a lot of in education, value from the network. Brilliant. And I've done some pretty good deals. And, and that's really important, isn't it? Being around the right type of people, getting the right support, the right education, and ultimately, for all of you tuning in, do not do this on your own. No. Get the right education implement what you're being shown, focus initially on your primary strategy, which for you, when you started, was purely deal sourcing, but now you're a full-blown, full-time developer. Yeah. But like you said, it didn't quite start like that. 
you know what? Let's talk about this amazing deal that you are currently doing where you have made £50,000 the moment you bought it. How was that possible? Where is the deal? And how did you make that fifty thousand pounds? Right. So it this this, this it, you know uh, an investor once said to me the most exciting deals are not always the biggest, and I can completely agree with him uh, with with this example. So I invest predominantly in Blackpool. And the majority of my property and my clients' properties, well, all of them are in Blackpool. And there's this really bad road in Blackpool. It's been known notoriously as one of the worst roads in the country. It's called Central Drive and it's needed a cosmetic lift in a long time. Now, because of my contacts in the market, I knew that the car park had been bought by a major US um, uh, like attraction provider, okay. like a Disney type yeah. company, yeah. but no one else knew. Yeah. And there were two properties for sale on the street that I looked at. One of them I sold to a client of mine and I gutted that I did, but he'll be watching this laughing, but you know, good <laughs> luck to him because he's gonna make a lot of money out of it. But the other one was three flats above a burger bar and everybody was staying away from it because the burger bar was putting them off because it was on it was a flying freehold. So you got the freehold, you got the flats above, but the burger bar's on a long lease and no one can find the woman. So this guy, um, he had it up for like 120K, he got Pete cheesed off of it, I bought it for 80K and um, because I said it's got, you know, you've got to be a cash buyer, which you didn't quite have to be a cash buyer, but that was what mm. I said to get the deal through. And it was valued at 130K. Wow, 130 On the day I bought it. Wow, on the day. So you got it for 80, yeah, 80K. Uh, it, was, um, it valued at 130. 130. And then a week later, the news was released in the paper that a 300 million pound development was directly opposite. So I've you know vacated the tenants from them free flats and my serviced accommodation there will probably generate in excess of 25 grand a year per flat. Wow, so this is really important. When you buy property, you wanna be focusing on below market value deals because you make a lot of the money when you buy, not necessarily when you sell. And with this deal that we've helped Stevie with, he's now got a double-edged sword. He's made 50,000 pounds at the moment you've purchased it. That's now valued at 130,000 pounds. And now you're gonna generate income operating at a serviced accommodation. And what's gonna happen is that property will continue to rise in value over the next two years, five years, yeah. 10 years, 20 years. And that's really building legacy you know, for your futures, for your family. So what would you say to anyone tuning into this video that is new to property, thinking about joining Assets for Life, coming along and spending time with us, getting trained by us, maybe they're a bit scared and nervous. What would you say to anyone, Stevie, watching this video? Well, I've even advised my own family members who have come to me and said, I've got 20 grand, I've got five grand, I've got 100 grand. You know, I wanna get into property, what do I do? The first thing I say to anybody is get yourself educated Assets for Life are a great platform for anybody to get started with. I've now built a really close relationship with Liam and his business partner, Jay, and the whole community is there to help. You know, it's not just Liam and Jay. You've got the Facebook group. You've got the yearly retreat if you if you want a, a more intimate session with, with the team, which I've done. Yeah. And you've got the monthly mastermind. So you've got everything you need to make as few, few mistakes as possible because you're going to make mistakes. Everybody does. But by having mentors around you, you will make far less mistakes. And that's a guarantee, absolute guarantee. So there's some great tips there. Let's now look at your portfolio as a whole. Yep. Give us your bottom line numbers. Okay. You know, where are you standing in property now? From a standing start, you know, a couple of years back, where are you now, Stevie? How many units you've got? What are you turning over? What, how, how, does, how does life look today? Life's great today. Um, so we've got the portfolio is valued at probably 3.4 million. Wow. We've probably got about 1.4 in debt because with sourcing company, we, we try not to borrow a lot. So we're very low geared, we're very safe. Um, we're currently in a tra transitional period where we're kicking tenants out and changing it to SA. But I'd say, you know, we comfortably, we comfortably bring in 20 grand a month wow and from that 20 grand a month we pay about an eight nine thousand pound mortgage of which a big chunk of that is paying down capital because we're on a 15 year repayment term we bank with the best bank in the country handles banking 
Um, and you know, we don't even really use the portfolio money. Like when you get into property, you will find ways of making money. Our sourcing company feeds us our portfolios for our um, pensions, me and, me and Matt's pensions. The construction company just happened and we don't really use the money there. The management company, we just keep getting more staff, keep improving the service. So we've got the best company in the town for with regards to service. So yeah, that's how life looks wow. for me. It's and I'm amazing. Over the and it, it is it, amazing. It is, yeah, it is. And it has been absolutely brilliant to um, play a fundamental part in your growth and what you've been doing and to support and help you. Look, ladies and gentlemen, you can do this starting from scratch. Would you like to make 50,000 pound profit the moment you buy a deal? Would you like to be generating 20,000 pounds a month cash flow? Do you want to be building a pure legacy for your futures? If the answer is yes, you've got to come and join us. Hit subscribe now. Join us at one of our property events. It's been absolutely brilliant, Stevie, having you in today on Thanks, Success William. Sunday. Congratulations. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. And Good we'll, luck. We'll see you soon, guys. Take, Take care. care.